Hey guys, Lively here. Welcome back to our Fallout 4 run using our magnum opus list from Wabajack. Quick recap on the last episode. We met two of the primary factions in the game, both the Railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel. We will be progressing those probably pretty slowly as we move through the game. Uh, probably the Brotherhood a little bit faster than the Railroad. But we also took a walk to Concord and talked to Jake and progressed some settlements too a little bit. We'll be doing some more of that. Not too far from now. But for now, we are going to keep going with this railroad introduction, and then we are going to head to Diamond City, so let's get started. to be able to ride in the car instead of having to walk everywhere. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Let's find a prototype, then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Hostile sensor reading detected. Hi there. On. My scanners must be malfunctioning. Well, the terminal's on, at I least. Did. Yeah, I can crouch again. Without stuff clipping. No. 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 Aha! Missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. This one is named. Movement detected. Curious. in the center of that rail sign. There's a cache nearby. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before it. We saved some lives. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute Let's Fuck Up Your Day Tech. There shouldn't be any coursers in here, but if there are, just run. Is someone present? Active terminal. We didn't have Please time to see yourself. the fences up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise.
hostile sensor reading detected. remain undetected for long. That's 15. You're terminated, fucker. Bye-bye, Gen 1s. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Wait. Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We're entering a secret defense, defense intelligence, intelligence agency, agency research lab. A place Spying that never officially existed. Isn't that it's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. in error. No enemy detected. Wow. I'm almost out of pistol ammo. <laughs> Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. You must be it would appear <laughs> my target has disappeared. Interesting. <laughs> Nothing but a pile of scrap now, Synth. It's funny, his gun is clipping through the door a little there. Oh, two of them. really good. That was my happy noise. Oh, I can fly. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas, and Crowley. Says me. Well, maybe I can't fly. This one might just be for show. I'll have to figure it out later. They were wise to flee. So Tommy whispers to them. Yes. Make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let it size fool you. What's so special about the gun? Tinker Tom restored it. You'll meet him later. It's cutting edge old world tech. It's powerful and more importantly, quiet. You'll never find another weapon like it. Eh, I don't know if that's true. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona and she'll have to let you into our merry band. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome dome on this side of the minefield. I 
Alright, I should have backed up a little bit more, that's on me. been with me all day you know how I'm doing today that's it end of the line just power up the elevator God damn it. I keep forgetting I already have the shotgun out. And that's me trying to take it out when I already have it out because it's the same button as shooting it. <laughs> Got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. <laughs> what do you need? I need you to carry some shit. So if you recall, our tourists said that there was a minefield out here. Hey. Hey, and they can be pretty hard to see, but you can kind of cheese it with vats. So you can see mines. I'm happy to help folks that help each other, like you. That's cool, so I don't give a shit. I can't believe I'm standing down here in the middle of Lexington. I've never met anyone that's made it down here. Yeah, the well, and barrels keep everyone out. we still might die. 
So you see how that goal has a name, Mary Roberts? That's one of my pre-war neighbors, and their names are actually given on their mailboxes, which I've probably scrapped by now. Hell yeah! Damn it. Okay, I do want to get back to Sanctuary at some point here. We're not too far. But I am very low on ammo. And I have a lot of level ups. I still can't get Gun Nut 2. I can't get Gunslinger 2. Can't get Rifle 2. I can get Shotgun. I've been using a lot of shotguns. I can get Scrounger too, that's perfect. And I'll keep that last point. For now. I'm gonna swap this to the M1911. You ever come here before the war? My dad told me about movies, so I know what they are, but I've never seen one. Back to Starlight Drive-In! <sighs> we had a deal, Trudy. Oh, Hand I'm over the, the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Scam. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Looks like you got some trouble. I could help. Help? What are you, some kind of hired gun? Or maybe you can talk some sense into Trudy over there. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. You can see that he's a white dude. But he's got what is commonly referred to as a blackface bug. And that would be resolved if I just save and quit the game and reload. Care, Trudy, and it's just an engine issue. There's nothing you can really do about it. But I can demonstrate that right now. I'll just pop down a save and load it. And I'll just have to make a little cut. You need anything? And just like that, his face is fixed. Just don't piss me off, all right? Shut the fuck up, Simone. So this quest actually changes depending on who you talk to first. Uh, whether you talk to Wolfgang or Trudy first. Most people will talk to Wolfgang first because you usually approach from this way. And Wolfgang's right here yelling and pulls a gun on you. But if you talk to her first, she'll say, "Ah, oh, go deal with him," and you have to scare him off. But it basically results hey, in the same ending. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. 
Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money. But I better not catch you selling chems hey to there. my boy help? again. Fine by me, Trudy. I see your you eyeing me. Your son's broke as Don't shit anyhow. Cute. All right, crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. We get paid, and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? How no, I'm are you good. Feeling today? I'm happy to help folks that help each other, like you. What do you need? I'm here. Alright, so we are heading back to Sanctuary just to talk to Preston. And then I'm going to head for Diamond City to turn in some quests. And I'm going to pick up Nick as a follower and and probably ditch Ellen for a little bit. The uh, main reason for that is I've got a few people watching that have never played this game. And would like a little bit more backstory on the synths, and I think Nick's companion quests and stuff, and the speeches he gives when you have more affinity with him, will probably answer that better than I could. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. see you. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah, I used to like living here. Before the war? What do you mean, before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn, I'm sorry. But no, I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Here it comes. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. Naturally. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. So quite a while ago, when I first claimed this settlement, I was talking about potential problems people could have with starting Sim Settlements 2 here, and one of those problems being doing Sturgis's quest to build beds and food. And hey, we're going to do that I'm right now, but kind of backwards. So since we already did Sim Settlements 2 stuff, all the stuff we built is going to count towards his quest right here, and it should go by really help. fast. Except maybe for defense well, and water, because I don't remember if I built any. Beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. So he wants us to build beds. So normally if you do this before some settlement stuff, you're building beds for him, and then settlers claim the beds, and then they don't get assigned to residential plots. Which is why it could be a problem if you do this quest first. But you saw I immediately had the beds complete, so I can just turn it in right away. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Thanks again. 
I feel better already. Okay. No, we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Hey, Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Damn! I don't have enough to fly through it. I have to actually build something. That's weird. Where's the model for it? Come on. I know you exist. I've built you before. Whatever. Just take a regular shitty one then. Give a shit. That's strange. It's like the menu's lagging behind. Uh, Sturgis! Hey! Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. And that's why I do Sim Settlements before I do Sturgis. If I do Sim Settlements in Sanctuary. I normally don't, but it is what it is. What I would like, though, is to see if I can borrow one of their beds for a minute. Hell yeah. Hey. You creeper. Uh, but that's just a quick way to get full health. Like the fucking cheater that I am. Whenever I see a place like this. Anyway, onward to Diamond City again. <laughs> Plus, I have a lot of stuff I could sell there. Be pretty awesome. First, let's see what I would want to drop off. That, that, actually, no, I can sell that. Because then I can just carry stuff. God, look at the damage difference between these two. That's incredible. Uh, but then I could just carry stuff that I would want to sell and not worry about accidentally selling anything I would want to keep. Means I can take all this shit. Oh, Heather actually wants this, so I'm gonna give it to her. I forgot. Oh, I'm overweight. I took too many. You might break your back there. Let me carry some stuff for you. Um, it's time city downstairs. No. Hello. Hi. Look at all those fabulous quest markers. Darling, are you sure about this? I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. Hey, Edna. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. <clears throat> All these years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. 
And that's the scene that triggers from being in the schoolhouse and talking to them earlier. Like I said, it's just a cute, fun little thing. But I like it. Okay. All right, so that should take care of our inventory issues for a little while. There you are. Huh. Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. If you really think we need this guy. Trust me, this is the guy we need. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. Hello. Today's Halloween, but do we get treats? No. It's all tricks, all day. I hear. Today's Halloween? Son of a bitch. I don't think I've ever heard that line before. That's awesome. Mel huh. isn't any good to us, like that diamonds in security. Get him out. Alright, let's go get Mel. Hi there. How are you doing today? Officer. You got something to say? I was hoping to get Mel out of lockup. I didn't know Mel had friends. All right, he's pretty much done his time. Let me open up the door. All right, you're free to go, buddy. I'm here. Hi there. Hi. Now what can I do for you, sweetie? Let's just get out. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Okay. What do you need? Get out of his way. I know it's probably the most boring prison break in history, but it's safer than shooting a bunch of guards. Just ask me. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make oh some distance, God. okay? How are you doing today? How much fucking distance, Mel? You're free! You have nothing to run from! Seriously, there's like two Thanks feet. Thanks for getting me out, I guess. So, you're Bobby's new toy. How did you know that? No one else would put this much effort in for me. God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait, like, a day? What's the job? You've worked jobs with Bobby before? Enough to know she's not the most trustworthy person around. The team may change, but every job comes with the same set of cryptic instructions as the next. <laughs> yeah, you'd have better luck milking a rabbit Yao than getting a straight answer out of Bobby. 
How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up on me. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Cool, cool. Next stop, Valentine Detective Agency. Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat, make yourself comfortable. Hey there, need help? When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they, they just, they just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low. And rough, like, like sandpaper, across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, 
Either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Do you need anything? So there are a couple extra quests in here to pick up. You've really got these a little lot, detective cases. Hope you and Nick find that monster. The Marty Bull Bullfinch case. Oh, Marty sorry. was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. I'm happy to help both though. Nikki, you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but... I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you wanna get the team back together, you let me know. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. This one isn't really a case file, it's just uh, kind of a meta joke. Because the mysterious stranger is a perk you can get, Hello. where if you kill someone, in, or if you attack someone in vats like this, then some random guy in a trench coat could possibly appear and kill your enemy for you. And that's been in all the Fallout games, so it's just kind of a, like I said, a meta joke slash throwback sort of thing. But it's not a quest. Just ask me. Nope. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. He's more than just what a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, but clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock tight. Mm -hmm. You need anything? No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. So the there's quite a few ways you can get past this stage of the quest. Platform that should take you up. I know, we literally just talked about it, Nick. Uh, obviously, I could have master lockpicking skills. He will never get this, so he can do this forever. You could go back to Sanctuary and give Mama Murphy some drugs, and she will reveal that Kellogg dropped a key down here, and it spawns right around here. And it doesn't actually appear unless you give her drugs, so you can't find it without her. You could obviously go up to the mayor's office, like I'm gonna, and there's, I think, two more ways to get it from up here. So let's head on up. Come out of his office. 
office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more hey there, responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. A uh, little side note, if you recall, I mentioned how every unique NPC in the game has a unique face preset for this list. And I had a favorite and a least favorite, and one of my favorites was Ellie done at Valentine's office. And my least favorite was somebody else in Diamond City that we would meet till later. And we get to meet her right now. And that ah, is Geneva. Yes. I remember you. Who is Our somehow not in this room. I Fine, I'll talk to her in a wishes. second. Getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. So that's obviously one way to get into the house. The other is a speech check from Geneva. And the other after that would be picking the mayor's pocket. And you can also steal the key from her desk if you fail all those above. Oh, and you can bribe Geneva to give it to you as well. So it's like eight ways into his house. But I hate the way she looks. I keep forgetting to change it, but she hey, is my least favorite in this list. I don't know why. It's not like she's, like bad or i don't know i just i don't like this preset at all need something honey housing permit looking for a job let's hear about the permit we have one home available it's in the center of town what the fuck bro geneva we were need talking something, housing permit looking for a job tell me about the permit again geneva i swear to god I will shoot you and everyone you love. No funny business around the sit, mayor. Sit in your you fucking it. chair. Shut up. Hey Geneva. You gonna quit walking away from me now? Housing permit? The worst Looking fucking secretary in the history. Tell me about the permit again. One home available, center of town near the market. Interested? Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. How are you doing today? Geneva. Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. I don't need anything. Catch you later, then. I'm here. Cat! <laughs> Kitty. Actually, 
I still need to talk to Piper in here. Hey. Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now. Pip boy and that fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time down the city had a little outside perspective on the common. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on this? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to mine. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. I don't know. It's a big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the comments. No one wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you know the truth. A strong note to end on Bruno. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna be done with something plenty of time. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see what the story comes next. So I tend to collect companions like Pokemon, even if I don't really care for them. Sure, so go. I'm going to take her, and that'll dismiss Ellen, and I always send my companions to the abandoned tunnels. But I don't really want to be with Piper, so I'm going to recruit Ellen again, immediately, just so I can send Piper back to the tunnels. <laughs> then I'm going to rob her house. There goes Piper, slowly walking her way back to a sewer to live in, abandoning her poor little sister forever to sell newspapers on a corner. <sighs> Classic Piper. Heard you rescued Valentine. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Hey there, did you help? They seem small to you. A guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, 
smell the cigars? It's him. Gwyneth's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. How about dog meat? I'm a wolf. Mutt like him can drag a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whip? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, and I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing. I want you with me on this, Nick. So I'm going to take Nick for a few reasons. One, I don't plan to progress Ellen's companion quest for quite some time. Two, I've had a few people watching these videos that have never played Fallout 4, and they don't really understand what synths are or why people are afraid of them. And I think Nick's backstory and the stories he tells will help fill right. that gap. Let's get that. Your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. But first, I need to collect all the food. Because why not? Who do you think actually won the war? Also, if for whatever reason you did not greet Dogmeat at Red Rocket, then his dialogue changes here, and he says he just has a friend that might be able to help, and comes outside and whistles, and Dogmeat comes up, and then you meet him here for the first time instead. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. So if you know where we're going beforehand, you could skip this entire quest where you're following the dog and just go straight to the destination. I'm not going to do that, because I think this is more interesting, following the dog. And I don't know, it's just part of the game, I suppose. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, alright. Okay, boy. Let's track him. After you. Alright guys, the old clock on the wall is telling me it's about time to wrap it up, so that's going to do it for episode 8. Uh, when we come back, we will continue following Dog Meat, track Don Kellogg, and see where that takes us. But until then, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if you'd like to be notified when new videos are published, please click that subscribe button. 
If you would like to support me on Patreon, there is a link in the video description, and that just helps me to keep creating content like these mod lists and these videos. Huge thank you to my current top donors, Avi, War Turtle, Archduke Crunch, Rockstar, Jessica Frost, Random Code 9, Mysterious Stranger, and Tyler. And of course, a big thank you to all my donors from any tier. Your continued support is one of the most appreciated and important things in my life right now. I cannot express how much it means to me. And of course, thank you to everybody watching. And I love having you guys around. And I hope I will see you next time.